today on 100 New Flavors, I am going to be trying Lenny and Larry's The Complete Cookie. Oh, it has eight grams of fiber per cookie, no eggs, no dairy, no soy, no GMO, and the best part, it's vegan. And it's got 16 grams of protein. So basically, this kind of cookie is going to put you on the crapper. I got birthday cake flavor, so we'll see how that goes. The packaging is really nice. I personally like it, and I think that's why I'm drawn to certain things. Hey! So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Hopefully the cookie looks exactly like how it looks on the front. If not, I'm going to be very upset. It smells like birthday cake. Dude, it does not look as appetizing as it says on the front. On the front, it looks like a real cookie. And then when I pull it out, it's this ugly, like, thing. Look at this. It's ugly, and it doesn't look good. It's like a hockey puck. Like, this is as thick as a hockey puck. But it's the same size as the package on the front, so... See this? The front... And then the cookie in the same pack, so it's not lying about size, so it's good. My official rating of Lenny and Larry's The Complete Cookie, one being the best thing I've ever tried and ten being the worst thing I've ever tasted, I would give it a, I give it a five. I'm going to be neutral and give it a chance because cookies are usually good. I have a feeling it's going to be really dry. At first it has a fluffy, soft texture, and once you chew it more, it becomes like a weird paste in your mouth. I'll give it a second try. Ugh. It's definitely different from a normal cookie. It's not bad, it's not the worst thing I've ever tasted, and I've tried, tried a couple bad things here and there, but I don't think I would be trying it again just because when I'm eating a cookie, I expect something delicious, crunchy, chewy, soft, sweet. This isn't that. This is kind of sweet, but you can almost taste the difference in it. So my new rating of Lenny and Larry's The Complete Cookie, one being the best thing I've ever tasted and ten being the worst thing I've ever tried, I'm going to give it a six. A six because I'm not going to be trying it again. It ain't for me. It ain't my thing. And it's not because it's vegan. It's just, like I said, texture is a big thing with me. Even though it looks appetizing on the front, they look like real cookies. But then when you actually open them, they don't look anything like the cookie on the front. So, that's where I stand with that.